Let's consider the following math problem. Imagine there are 10,000 Thanoses on a planet, each having an infinity gauntlet. Each Thanos snaps its fingers once, removing every other remaining Thanos with a chance of 50%. After all Thanoses have either snapped their fingers or are disintegrated, what is the expected value of Thanoses remaining? Let us try this out with 40 Thanoses. Each Thanos is represented here with a glove. If the first Thanos snaps its fingers, almost half of them disappear. The next Thanos can snap again. Note that grayed out gauntlets have already snapped. The third snap removes even more. After the final snap, you can see that all three remaining Thanoses have already snapped. So the number of remaining Thanoses is 3. Pause the video right now if you want to try to solve it yourself, or keep watching to see the solution. There are two kinds of Thanoses. One kind of Thanos is a Thanos that still has to snap its fingers, in other words, that has a working gauntlet. Let us call this kind of Thanos an active Thanos. The other kind of Thanos is the Thanos that has already snapped its fingers. It has no working gauntlet, and is therefore harmless. We call this kind of Thanos a passive Thanos. If we forget for a moment the Thanos that is currently snapping, each other Thanos has a chance of exactly one half to be disintegrated. This can be modeled by each Thanos flipping a coin. Head means Thanos survives. Tail means Thanos dies. The distribution of the number of heads, and by consequence, the number of remaining Thanoses, can be described by the binomial distribution, with p being one half. The Thanos that is snapping always survives, so he has a 100% chance to become a passive Thanos. All other active Thanoses, so our original number of active Thanoses minus 1, follow the distribution described in the previous slide. Same goes for all passive Thanoses. We can combine the previous equations to write what the chances are to remain with exactly k active and L plus 1 passive Thanoses. Let us remember this equation. I will denote the expected value of the remaining Thanoses as E. The first thing we can observe is that, if there are no more active Thanoses, the number of passive Thanoses is the number of remaining Thanoses. We can also look at what happens if we add an extra passive Thanos. This new passive Thanos does not affect the survival chance of any of the other Thanoses. Its survival chance is only affected by the number of remaining active Thanoses. This means that we can split the system in a part dependent on the active and on the passive Thanoses. Remember the formula from earlier? We can use the fact that the expected value equals the sum of each of the chances times the expected value of each corresponding system. This gives us a nice recursive formula for the expected value. Both formulas can be combined, giving us this nice expression. This can be solved to A and P, by plugging in 0 and 1. Plugging in 0 simply gives us the definition of A. To find P, we will have to subtract both equations. Having done this, we get a nice recursive formula for the expected value. If we multiply the first equation with 2 and adding the second equation is. It can easily be seen that this expression remains constant, but if you do not believe me, it can be proven by strong induction. The base case is trivial, as a list with a single item is constant. The induction step is also trivial because the sum of the coefficients equals 1. 
the value of the base case equals 2, so the value of all other elements must also be 2. This means that whenever there are two passive Thanoses, the expected value will equal 2. This simplifies our solution to the following equations. There is no nice formula for P, but it can be generated by a computer program. Using our computer program, we get the following values. This nicely gives us our solution of 1.9997115212531861.